Avery salvage sign is a bitter reminder of a difficult time in these parts. Today, blue ribbons hang from the sign for Teresa Halbach, so she's not forgotten in the media frenzy of making a murderer. That was all my daughter. She shared the image on Facebook. We all got a heart, and people out there, they just don't think we do. Earl Avery and his brother Chuck still run the salvage yard, and despite the family's sympathetic portrayal in the documentary, he says his family continues to take the heat. They call us murderers, they call us everything else in the book. People pointing fingers at you and saying ah, maybe it was just, you and Chuck. Yeah, and that was just a bunch of bullshit. People are going to say what they want to say, they don't even know us. A decade ago, Stephen Avery made headlines when he was freed from prison for a rape he didn't commit. He was in the process of suing Manitowoc County for wrongful conviction when Teresa Halbach went missing. Day one. Photographer Teresa Halbach has three freelance shoots to photograph cars for Auto Trader magazine. She's never seen again. Day four. Halbach's mother calls police. Co-workers say she hasn't been to work in three days. Day five. Hello, this is Teresa with Auto Trader magazine. Investigators learn one of Halbach's last assignments was at the Avery Salvage Yard. Manitowoc's sheriff asked Calumet County to lead the investigation because of Avery's lawsuit. Couldn't believe it. You know, somebody missing? That's not good. Day six. We found a Ram four. Investigators ship it to the state crime lab for testing. Day seven. The crime lab finds human blood inside Hallbach's SUV. In Stephen Avery's trailer, investigators seize guns, handcuffs, leg irons. Day eight. On the seventh search of Avery's trailer, a Manitowoc investigator involved in Avery's lawsuit finds a car key in Avery's bedroom. To schedule me out again. And deep down, it hurts. Day nine. In a fire pit next to Avery's trailer, fire marshals find bone fragments and human teeth. Day 10. 12 News is on the phone with Stephen Avery as officers arrest him for gun possession. He's a convicted felon and can't have the two guns found in his trailer. While the documentary suggests the sheriff's department only targets Avery, investigators look at the entire Avery family. 12 News is there as they round up seven of Avery's relatives to get DNA samples, including Avery's brothers Chuck and Earl. Both have sex-related convictions. Finally, the crime lab confirms the teeth and bones found in Avery's fire pit are human, a shaken sheriff tells the Halbach family. Uh, that was very hard for me, and I'm sure 20 times harder for them. Day 11. Crime Lab reports four separate samples of Avery's DNA in Halbach's car and Avery's DNA on that key found in his bedroom. A key they now know starts Teresa Halbach's SUV. Day 12. It is no longer a question who is responsible for the death of Teresa Halbach. The district attorney announces he will charge Stephen Avery with murdering Halbach and mutilating her corpse. Day 13. I didn't do nothing. Avery goes on the defensive. They're planning evidence. I was going to be there. I won't harm her. She seemed like a nice girl. She did her job. And that was it. Avery is now serving a life sentence for murder. A decade later, his brother Earl believes Stephen was framed. I think he deserves another trial completely. Oh, well, yeah, he was railroaded. His brother Chuck. Goodbye. Well, we'll leave if you'd like us to. I gotta go. <laughs> All right. We'll hear more from the Avery family Friday night in our half-hour special, Stephen Avery, Inside the Case Files.